30 years ago today, Pearl Jam released the greatest album of all time. Obviously, that is their debut album, 10. It is my personal favorite album of all time. And in this video, I'm going to tell you kind of my story with the album and what makes it my favorite out of all. You can consider this a review, but I just prefer to call this one a discussion and appreciation of the album because it is, in my opinion, the greatest one of all time. And I can't believe it's been 30 years. That seems so insane. And Apple Music just put out a Dolby Atmos release or transfer something about it. I was texted about it yesterday, so obviously, this is the reason I still have to check that out tonight, but I have listened to the album a million times Pearl Jam is my most listened to band ever just because I have this thing that tracks it and that said it But anyway, I first listened to this album back in September of 2020 at that time I was really starting to get into grunge and I really love Nirvana Obviously, I really love Nirvana still they're in my top five favorite bands of all time And they were like my favorite band of all time at that point point. and I remember sitting in my bed listening to Nirvana my dad came in and, and because he's, you know, a massive music person. He's the reason I have all the CDs and everything like that. And he goes, if you're getting into Nirvana, then you need to listen to Pearl Jam. Listen to their first album. It's called 10. And I'm like, okay, I'll listen to it in a bit. And then I remember going, looking it up and listening to it. And I remember listening to it, but I sadly don't remember my thoughts on it. I don't know why. I'm surprised I don't. But I remember listening to it, and I guess I really enjoyed it because I listened to it again and again and again. And the songs that really hooked me then were Jeremy and Black, which are my two favorite songs on the album, obviously two of the biggest ones. Black is my favorite song of all time, and I'll talk about that in a bit. I'm gonna do a full video on that one day just because I have so much to say about that song, and maybe not on the first listen because I, I don't know why I don't remember this. I remember continuing to listen to the album over and over again and just loving it, and I'd listen to it every single day during school. I was put in some really, really annoying classes that were very boring last year. I mean, we had to take them, but still, they were very boring. And I remember just listening to Pearl Jam over and over and over again. And there was a time when I listened to 10 all the way through in my careers class, because I had nothing to do, because I finished all my work in 15 minutes. I had nothing to do, so I listened to 10 all the way through, and then when it ended, I played it again, so that killed like almost two hours because I just listened to the album twice in a row and it never got old. Now, when I listen to the album, I know every single word on it. I know every single strike of the guitar, everything, the drums, like I, this album is truly a masterpiece and it's one that you can listen to over and over and over again. And that was just when I was starting to get into rock. And now obviously I'm a massive rock fan. That was nearly a year ago. That was 11 months ago. And that's just insane to me. And then I went on to listen to the other album. So Versus, I really love Versus. Vitology, if I'm saying that right, I do really enjoy that one. I'm just looking at it here. They also put no code in Dolby Atmos. So I'm very excited to listen to that. And for those who don't know, Dolby Atmos is like the best sound possible in Apple Music. I haven't listened to that album in forever. I don't really know what I think of it. Yield is so super underrated binarial or however you say that i'm not sure if i listened to that fully riot act is really good nobody really talks about it i really enjoyed it uh the self-titled one pretty good kind of forgettable backspacer i don't know if i've listened to it fully lightning bolt same thing but sirens is a banger and gigaton i've listened to a few times it's definitely different from their sound and that was the first one that was in dolby atmos so i remember listening to that one a few times there's some songs in there that i love like all right is my favorite song in that album i love it but for me none of the albums compare to 10 now versus is an incredible album. It's like a 4.5 out of 5 album, maybe even a 5 out of 5 album. Like, it is really great. But 10 is just something special, and I think it all comes down to one of my favorite musicians of all time, Eddie Vedder. I know people will always Always make fun of him for hey hey I don't know where you're laying I want to where you're not like that and that's definitely understandable I'll talk about that in a little bit but I love this like I love this band I think he's quite possibly the best frontman of all time or at least the best one of the 90s it's either him or Chris Cornell you know of course Chris Cornell the greatest rock singer of all time and I say that because of what Eddie did on stage and it like of course he has an incredible voice he's one of my favorite voices ever but what he did on stage really made Pearl Jam you know impact everybody in the 90s and it goes down to their lyrics and everything which I'll talk about in a bit but Eddie was just crazy on stage he was an animal there's videos of him like breaking holes in the stage and of course he's known for his very famous climbing he used to climb stuff all the time because he was just fearless he climbed stuff with like no safety and then he would 
jump into it and the whole band has talked about it he jumped into the crowd and everything it's just insane and i feel like that's what makes him quite possibly my favorite because he just helped pearl jam put on this amazing show and obviously i do have to give credit to mother love bone who they were like before pearl jam. it was pearl jam before pearl jam with andy wood who sadly died in 1990 rest in peace to him but i have to give them credit because some of the band members of pearl jam were in that before and mother love bones apple is a phenomenal album but for me eddie vedder is just one of a kind you know he was a surfer and he didn't really do like do anything like this and he had a very terrible childhood which i'll go into when talking about some of the songs specifically and i you know it, it sucks to say but it really helped the music and of course it's a terrible thing but it did help the music and i feel like gave so much emotion to him and i really have to thank him for coming to pearl jam he's one of my favorite artists of all time eddie is just a wonderful person uh even besides the music like the stuff he does with his wife and his whole family is just amazing like their activism stuff and i also have to talk about the very very underrated Mike McCready, who is one of the greatest guitar players of all time, but never gets the credit. Now, not only is he fantastic in Pearl Jam, but Mad Season, you know, the super group with Lane Staley and all them, like, he was so good in that, wrote so many amazing guitar solos and riffs, everything, but Pearl Jam, I mean, the intro riff to Alive is one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time. Everybody knows it, or at least everybody knows it from the 90s, like, it's just a staple of the 90s, but it's not just that, there are little subtle things in the background and in, like, the lower end of the mix that really kind of impact you, and as you listen to it more, and I feel like with Dolby Atmos, it'll also really help with it. It sounds like a sponsor video, it's really not, and I feel like he just never gets the credit it. He has so many amazing guitar solos and riffs everything and of course Jeff Ament and Stone Gossard have to give them I mean, Jeff Ament is the bass player and then Stone is the other guitar player who are both really great as well and then the drummer here was actually not Matt Cameron for those who don't know Matt Cameron was in Soundgarden for a while and he joined Pearl Jam in the late 90s but the drums here are also really great now obviously Matt Cameron's one of my favorite drummers of all time because he's just amazing but the drums on here are really really awesome and it the music all around is just amazing but what I like even more than that are the lyrics and for me lyrics are probably the most important thing about music it's the lyrics how they impact you and for me this album has some of the greatest lyrics of all time now I'm gonna talk about the song very quickly because I have so much to say in a different video but black is my favorite song of all time this song is just perfect everything from the delivery of Eddie Vedder's vocal to the subtle music in the back and the lyrics you know it tells this really heartbreaking story and for me at the time I related to it so much and that's why another reason why this album really impacted me is because you know when you relate to something you obviously enjoy it more so when I heard this I mean this song specifically I think it's my most listened to song like I listened to it hundreds of times and I'm not even exaggerating like I've listened to the song hundreds of times and it never fails to get me and that MTV Unplugged performance is my favorite performance of all time of any song that MTV Unplugged performance is just so emotional and it says so much about the song and proves how great of a song it is that goes down to the lyrics and another thing that people don't talk about that much like everybody who's a Pearl Jam fan knows like even if you're kind of surface level I guess you probably know about this but the whole idea of the Mama Sun trilogy that's called that goes Alive Once and then Footsteps so Alive and Once are on this album Once opens up the album Alive is three songs in if I remember correctly three or four I think it's the third song on here and then Footsteps was on the Jeremy single as well as Yellow Lead better, which, you know, Yellow Lead Better is great. I don't care what anyone says. And then obviously, Alive tells the story of some, you know, problems with the family. I'm not sure how much I can say on YouTube with the mother and a child and what she does to him and all this. And then once is this, you know, the child growing up and his revenge becoming this big serial killer and everything like all exploding basically like inside. And then Footsteps is him on death row, everything. I think it's an amazing trilogy. When you listen to it, it's very different than what you would expect because obviously in the album, once comes before Alive. But listening to it in that order, knowing that, and obviously you can read into that more. I might make a video on that just alone one day because it's so interesting to me. It really comes down to the lyrics and obviously the other main song I have
have to talk about is Jeremy, which is one of the most emotional and powerful songs of all time. I know Pearl Jam doesn't like the music video, but I think the music video is quite amazing. I, yeah, I know that they didn't really want to do it and everything, but I think that it really helps. As long as you watch like the, the unrated one or whatever it's called, because they cut some things, which changes the meaning. But the meaning of it, obviously, is a, a boy who's very young, I think in high school or middle school. His name is Jeremy, obviously. And he went to a school, went to the front of his class, and shot himself. So there's that. And it's a terrible, terrible situation, obviously. And I apologize if you didn't know uh, the meaning of it. And they wrote it in such an interesting way with the lyrics and everything. The line Jeremy spoke in class today is just so smart because you know what it's saying, but it doesn't just straight up say it. It uses like a mini metaphor and it works so well. That is why I love 10. I could go on about this album forever. You have all the incredible musicians in this one. You have the amazing voice of Eddie Vedder, the guitar sounds of Mike McCready and Stone Gossard. Jeff Ament is just awesome. The drummer here, not Matt Cameron, but still a very great drummer for the time. The lyrics are probably my favorite thing about the album. Every single song in here is amazing. There's not one time where I want to skip song. There's not one moment in it that drags. And even shorter songs or like less known songs like why go something like that they still work so well obviously songs like porch are so amazing to be performed live and i have to talk about even flow very quickly one of my favorite kind of pump up songs if you want to call it that it's amazing before some like sporting event or something something athletic i guess if you really want to get your heart rate up you have to listen to the song and i just have to say Thank you to all the members of Pearl Jam for creating this album. It truly is the greatest album of all time for me. It's been my favorite album for nearly a year now. I don't think anything will ever take that spot. And what do you think of 10? What are your favorite tracks on there? And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.